Hello, Coach Pastor Keith, in this morning prayer for Wednesday, May 1st. May Day, May Day. Whoa. Or May Day. For many people, it's uh, uh, a day of celebration with the Maypole, right? And dancing around it and having a great time. So however you observe May Day, uh, may it be blessed and joyful. And here is a reading from the second to last chapter of Isaiah. Isaiah 65, starting with the 17th verse. And... Uh, it's good news. It's good news for people who live with anxiety and despair in particular. And it sort of sounds like Revelation 21, where the new Jerusalem comes down from heaven and restores the creation. So this is a prophecy of Isaiah, starting at the 17th verse, where he is speaking for God. And God says, For I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered, or come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating, for I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it or the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days or an old person who does not live out a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth, and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity, for they shall be offspring blessed by the Lord, and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox. But the serpent, its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. Wow. Well, there's some rich imagery there, right? And a new heaven and a new earth comes down from the firmament, that upside down Tupperware bowl. Good news. There's words of joy and delight right? The infants do not die, and the people, they live forever. Yeah, I want to make it to 100 because I just want to see what happens. I know that. And the houses we build, we get to live in them. Mm. Yeah. And God will answer while we are still asking. God will bless God will bring the wolf and the lamb together. I mean, there's visions of peace here in a time when we're experiencing very little peace, right? The promise is that peace, not violence, but peace will be the final word, and we need not despair. And so here's a prayer for all of those of you who are perhaps despairing. Epule Kako. God of all hope, I confess that there are many times I find it hard to hold on to hope. The problems seem huge and without solution. I often dread each new day, and I wonder if I can take another step into the future without fear. Yet you have promised to be with me always. Do not abandon me now. Come to me by your spirit and lead me to a new day of hope. Amen. Good words, right? You have promised to be with me always. Come to me by your spirit. Bring down that new Jerusalem, a new heaven, and a new earth. Yes. And so, the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus. 
today and for the rest of the week. Amen.